As you've already learned, in a lead sheet, the melody is notated with the chord symbols indicated above the staff. In this lesson, we're going to learn to realize a lead sheet for the Russian folk tune, The Birch Tree. But first, I think I'll play the melody so I can get a sense of how the tune goes. I notice that my first, the first note is E, and I'm playing that with finger number five. So that means my hand is covering the A minor five finger position. All right, so I'm going to just play the tune. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, I'm going to consider where my left hand needs to be in order to realize these chord symbols with only root tones. So I can tell from looking at the lead sheet that I'm using four different chords, A, D, E, and on the third line, G. In order for me to cover all these notes without moving my hand, I have to be in the D minor five finger position. That will allow me to play A, D, E, and G. And I get to do that, I can do that without moving my hand, which means I'm going to be a lot more efficient. So now I'm going to practice just the left hand. The first line is given, and then I have to realize the last three lines by playing the root tone on the downbeat of the bar. So I have to count carefully. One, two, three, four. 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 On bars 7 and 8, and also on bars 10 and 11, I might just choose to hold that G for two bars rather than re-strike it at bar 8. So I would play it like a tie. This is bar 7 and 8. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, tie, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that makes it uh, a little bit easier and also a nice musical sound. So one thing I might want to do is practice that left hand with the melody, birch tree melody practice file. That means the practice file will play the right hand and I'll play along with the left hand. One, two, three, four. Now I might try putting my hands together on that. And again, I'd warn you that I'm going to get this a little easier than you're going to get it. You may need to try this many, many times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
If you need a little extra help with that, you can print the worksheet and you can maybe write it out. That might help you uh, keep track of where you are in the bar. Another way to realize the chords is to play an open fifth built on the root tone. So in this case, wherever it says A, I'm going to play a fifth with A as the low note. The root note has to be on the bottom of the fifth. So for D, I'm going to move my hand down here. And for E, and then for G, you'll notice in all these examples, the root tone is on the bottom. A, there's the A. For D, D is on the bottom. E, E is on the bottom. And G. And again, I'm going to practice this with the uh, practice file so I can just practice working on my left hand. One, two, ready, go. Now I'm going to try that with both hands. <clears throat> I'm going to go quite a bit slower though because I am playing both hands. And it will be a little bit harder. Notice how early I have to move my hand in order to make the next chord change on time. You should notice that I move my left hand about one beat early. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go.